शुरू हो गया क्या ओके गाइस सिट टाइट एंड रिलैक्स द फ्लाइट इज अबाउट टू टेक ऑफ आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू टुडे अबाउट हाउ कम्यूटेशन इज डन इन सिंगापुर हाउ पीपल कम्यूट फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट टू अनदर पॉइंट वट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑप्शन दैट सिंगापुर ऑफर्स टू देयर पीपल एंड द पीपल हु लिव इन सिंगापुर ऑन द आईलैंड बट बिफोर दैट लेट मी जस्ट गिव यू अ ब्रीफ इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट वाई द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन एंड द कम्यूटेशन हियर इन दिस टाइनी आईलैंड इज extremely reliable very flexible and very easy to use one big reason is because uh because of the size of this island as you can uh, you know uh, imagine the cost of the cars is very very expensive it's extremely expensive because there is no manufacturing unit here so every car gets imported so there is uh, you know multiple layers of costing that gets attached behind every car and then there is something called as a coe that is a bidding paper so in a sense agar main aapko ek idea do कि इंडिया में इफ यू वांट टू बाय अ वोक्स वैगन पोलो प्रॉबेबली इट माइट कॉस्ट यू समवेयर अराउंड नाइन लाख टू टेन लाख रुपीस एवरेज बट द सेम कार सेम मॉडल इफ यू आर गोइंग टू बाय हियर इन सिंगापुर वुड कॉस्ट यू समवेयर क्लोज टू हंड्रेड थाउजेंड डॉलर्स व्हिच इज इक्वल एंड टू अप्रॉक्सीमेटली फिफ्टी लैक्स ऑफ रुपीज चमक गए ना चौक गए सो ऐसा हालत है यहाँ पर बट नेवर द गवर्नमेंट हैज टेकन दैट इन टू कंसिडरेशन कीपिंग इन माइंड कि बिकॉज हमारा जो आइलैंड का जो एरिया है वो बहुत छोटा है एंड इट शुड नॉट क्रिएट एनी कंजेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ ट्रैफिक दे ओनली अलाउ आई थिंक ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड कार्स एवरी ईयर टू बी सोल्ड एंड टू बी पुट ऑन रोड्स एंड दैट्स द रीजन वाई दे हैव मेड अ कॉन्शियस एफर्ट टू एक्चुअली यू नो इंक्रीज देयर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन टर्म्स ऑफ द कम्यूटेशन एंड द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन फॉर द पीपल सो दैट बिकम्स एक्सट्रीमली ईजियर फॉर पीपल टू यू नो ट्रैवल एंड दे डोंट दे डोंट फील द नीड टू यूज अ कार सो दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट Uh, before we move ahead in this episode and know about uh, how the transportation works all right so there are basically three different modes of transportations or in essence you can say four different modes of uh, transportations that are uh, available in singapore the first one is mrt which is a mass rapid transit which could be called as a metro in india the second is uh, lrt lrt is you can say a smaller cousin of the mrt because that lrt is used to uh, you know connect to the smaller suburbs inside the island and then the third one is the bus the bus uh, is run by sbs and smrt uh, those are the uh, uh, organizations that actually uh, you know run these buses and last but not the least you have cabs as a mode of transportation so let's move on and discuss each one of them in detail so let's talk about the mrt so the mrt as you can see i have posted this map on uh, you know my screen this is the mrt map for singapore and as you can see there are four different types of uh, lines which are denoted by different colors like the red line the yellow line purple line and green line and bo- all these four lines connect the whole island from north to south and east to west along with that there is a blue line also that you know crosses across these uh, different colored lines which will you know kind of save time and connect to smaller suburbs that is called as the downtown line so basically if you want to go from one place to another place which is in downtown you can use the downtown line which is the blue line in a sense so that's the mrt map for you um the second is the lrt lrt is as i mentioned previously that uh, you know in lrt it's it's like a small car you know one single car and uh, it connects from the main station of the mrt to various different suburb stations of the lrt so if you have one specific area and that area is big enough uh, where people will have to walk more you know more than i don't know 500 meters maybe that's where you have these lrts these lrts are present only at specific uh, stations mrt stations not at every mrt station uh, as i mentioned where the area is more and you have to walk more you would probably require an lrt to take so you change from mrt to lrt which is very convenient because both of them are connected in the same station so all you have to do is get out of the mrt and just climb up and go to the lrt that's the lrt for you and then comes the bus the buses here are extremely uh, time bound i would say they they come on time they i have never experienced that any bus has gotten late unless you know there has been an accident or anything which is very very rare here but uh, they have always been on time the buses here are all uh, most of them the model of the buses is mercedes uh, model 
and they are very very comfortable buses from inside all of the buses here are air conditioned there is no bus that you would find which has open uh, windows or open doors like we will uh, you know see it in india in different cities mm, uh, there are all, all of them are uh, you know air conditioned and they all connect point to point you know they all have point to point connectivity so anywhere let's say if you are getting down from an mrt and if you feel that you know the place where you want to go you will have to walk for 500 meters or something you will definitely find a bus stop right across uh, the mrt station and probably would connect to that area so you can just take that bus and just go there within two or three minutes buses usually are run by the organization as i mentioned as smrt and sbs uh, this is the third option so these are the basic modes of you know commutation or transportation for the common man living here Along with that, if you have a little bit of more greenery in your pocket, you can go ahead and use the cabs. Now, I have traveled to a few countries and I have experienced the uh, you know cost of uh, booking a cab and you know going from one point to another and how much money it costs. Usually, they are expensive in comparison to uh, the cost that you're going to pay here in Singapore. They are very affordable and very reasonably priced. Even uh, you know when the meter starts, it starts somewhere around from three dollars thirty cents. That's where the start is, which is quite low in comparison to other cabs or uh, you know other transportation uh, means outside, like in the states or Australia, etc. So that's another uh, option that people can definitely use if they have uh, you know more money in their pockets. But it is still re reasonably uh, priced, so that is very good. Uh, coming back to the MRT. When we talk about the price points, uh, the MRT, the minimum price when you tap uh, your card, we'll come back to that in a minute, but when you tap your card and get inside, the minimum amount that it charges you is 0 0.89 cents. Yeah. So the minimum distance that you're going to travel, let's say from one station to the other station you want to get out, that's probably the minimum distance that you can travel and it's going to cost you only 89 cents at the minimum. Uh, again, they have their own algorithm of charging it, but at the max, like maximum from point A to the end of the line, of, that is the last station of the MRT, if you're going to tap your card, which I have done several times, and I have seen that it does not cost me more than $1.8. So a complete trip would cost you only $1.8. While in other countries, uh, the minimum passes or one day passes or, you know, the tapping cards cost you somewhere around 3 to $4 which is uh, expensive so i believe that the transportation part here has been well maintained in terms of the pricing part which is affordable to every pocket uh, inside the society here. so and the mrt and the lrt are basically interconnected as i mentioned so there is no specific you know tapping that you would require to take the lrt it would be essentially you have taken a, a point a station on the mrt tapped it you went in you got out of the other mrt station and then you know that there is an lrt station just above that MRT station so it will just simply connect it and you can just go to your place so it's inclusive the cost is inclusive all right so there is no specific cost associated with LRT uh, the buses buses you can pay by cash there is a box and you can always you know put uh, the cash money or the points uh, to get your uh, ticket uh, but uh, you know most of the Singapore is uh, using digital payments and they they do have their own tapping cards uh, as I mentioned uh, on the MRT station so these tapping cards that I'm talking about can be used on you know every common mode of transportation you can use it on the MRTs you can use it on the buses and you can even use these cards on using your cabs the cabs that run here that you book you can use these uh, cards on those cabs as well which is pretty cool I think you know you don't have to carry uh, cash in your pocket you know here on this island I think it's it's uh, it's been like I've been here on this island for six years and I have you know sort of never had the chance to use cash that frequently you know I never kept like 10 20 dollars in my pocket because uh, more than 10 20 dollars in my pocket because there was no need for it because everything is digitized here so you can just simply take out your card use your credit card or debit card or use your you know uh, travel card tap it and there you go you're on the move now coming back to the cards uh, Basically, there are two different types of cards that you can use. Uh, the first card is actually given by the authorities, the SMRT, which is essentially running the SMR, uh, SMRT uh, trains. They are called the MRTs and LRTs and also the buses, right? So the card is called as the Easy Link card. Of your money, there are machines outside the station or, you know, initially when you buy these cards, each of this card will cost you as uh, $12. And the cost of the actual card 
is five dollars and there is a top up of seven dollars in that card by default and then you can top up as much as you like uh, whenever you want to travel depending on you how frequently you travel so i am going to show you uh, how they look like so first is the easy link card and this is how the easy link card looks like this is the back side of the easy link card and this is the front side of the easy link card that's pretty cool right because they always come up with different designs you know if there is a chinese new year that is going on this is probably i bought when there was a chinese new year uh, time frame going on and you know they printed these new cards so we got this card sometimes they print the cards with the avengers uh, sometimes they print the card with something else so it's pretty cool to have that you know different types of designer cards if you really want to buy you know so uh, this is the easy link card and as you can see uh, there are certain icons here mentioned you know so basically what it tells us is that this card you can top up and then this card you can use not only for MRT, LRT but also for buses and even for cabs. So that's your EasyLink card, alright. So you can buy that at any counter, uh, MRT station counter for $12, $5 is the price of the card, $7 is the top up, remember that. Now the second card that you can use if you don't want to go with this and let's say you're working and you know you, you don't want to have a whole stack of cards in your wallet which will make it more thicker you can always go or opt for a credit card options now there are a lot of banks here who give you credit cards that have a collaboration with smrt which means that they automatically uh, you know have 30 dollars reserved on your credit card for using for commutation purpose so you have to tap that credit card every time when you travel and once the 30 dollars are over they will automatically top it up so you don't have to worry while you're traveling about the money part that will always be you know when the statement comes and you'll have to pay uh, which is not in which is not the case in this particular card if you have let's say less amount left you won't be able to travel further you'll have to top it up at one of the stations so you know it'll be kind of a uh, a lag in your travel so this is my this is my uh, you know Citibank card and as you can see there is an icon called SMRT so these are special type of credit cards I mean you can use it for normal transportation as well but um, you know when you have this SMRT icon is there you can use it for commutation for paying for MRT buses or for cabs all right so these are the three different types of modes of transportation that Singapore provides the, the different types of pricing uh, the modes of payment that you can do mostly 90 percent I would say is done with the use of these cards cards like these um, and um, very rarely I have seen people paying cash okay the transportation is very reliable it is almost on time every time there have been certain incidences in the past six uh, years that i've been here where you know maybe two or three times that there had been some work and the mrts were slowed down or whatever but that's acceptable according to me i mean uh, i feel you know it's not a six sigma thing but i feel that it's okay you know it's like five minutes of you know delays chalta hai kind of thing right so that's about it um if you know if you want to know more details about this please you know comment it in the comment section if you like this video please like and share and subscribe it please guys more details i have uh, you know put up the urls for sbs transit and for smrt in the you know section below uh, kindly go ahead and check if you want to get more details about that um, i would like to actually make more vlogs uh, which would be providing information about this island uh, from a different perspective like in terms of uh, you know transportation that I have told you today maybe in terms of how culturally diverse uh, Singapore is we can do a vlog on that but anyways I mean it all depends on you uh, whatever you demand we will deliver right so batana kaisa laga aapko video and basically sintezar rahega us cheez ka tab tak ke liye ciao